Hello and welcome to the Wolf Chase Toyota Insider. I'm Jeff Brightwell. Paul Goble is our guest from Men's Tennis today. And Coach, caught you on a good week coming off a nice win over Arkansas. And right now uh, you're back in the national rankings. Yes, it was a good week. Uh, you know, our team has had a good start to the season. Really a lot of fun to be competing again, I must say. And uh, we lost to Arkansas last year. So to get that win over them and at their place was really good for our team. Did you have expectations of this team to be uh, uh, as good as it is right now? Because you only have one loss right now. Yes. Uh, it's hard to say. I felt last year we were, as the season was, you know, progressing, we were playing better and better. And then when COVID hit, we were actually, you know, probably played our best match um, in beating LSU. And then, of course, the season came to an end. So I definitely saw some progression last year and, I could tell that the guys, you know, this off season and the fall season were working really hard. So uh, it's not too surprising, but it is nice to win some of these close matches. How, going back to last year, because it's been almost a, a March 12th, I know is when the basketball tournament got canceled. Everything else kind of fell, fell after that, all the dominoes. How frustrating was it to, to start the season like a few of the spring sports and all of a sudden just suddenly it ends? Yeah, it was, it's still almost the shock. And, you know, next week's our spring break here at the university. And that's one year ago is when we were, you know, we were traveling between LSU and Tulane to go play, you know, a big conference match. And we got the call to head home instead, you know, as so many teams did. And I think it was just, you know, at first it's shock and then all kinds of emotions that everybody's experienced all over the world. And, uh, you know, we have quite a few internationals and within two or three days, most of them all flew home. So you go from having a great match and then you don't see your team for, you know, five, six months. So I think we're definitely appreciating the time together. We're appreciating the fact that we get to compete again. And it's, I think it's showing in the, the level that we're competing. Well, the, it's a double-edged sword this year because on, on, you know, one side, COVID delayed everything. So obviously you're not at, at the left witch yet. On the, so it's a lot of road matches on the other side. With winning these road matches, and you look at 17th ranked Ole Miss, uh, wins at Clemson at Vanderbilt at Arkansas, you'll be at Wichita State and Tulsa uh, this weekend. Helps the computer rankings to win on the road, so I guess you you just have to look at it as a bonus. Yes, that's right. Uh, we'd like to be playing more at home, but right now, just to be playing anywhere, we're we're happy with. Um, you know, travel is you know going well so far. The guys are handling you know with the few changes that you know. Are, people have in place but overall it's going very well um we've had a few matches change we were supposed to play a couple big 10 opponents and they went conference only so you're just kind of having to go with the flow and when you can play a match you get excited about it and do your best all right coach we'll go get them this weekend we'll catch up with you later thank you so much that's head coach paul goble on the wolf chase toyota insider on the memphis tigers network